Hello everyone, my name is Mike Forney, I'm the Engineering Manager in HP. Um, my aim here today is just to give you a brief overview of our business and how we benefit from Creo software tools. Um, so NHP is a manufacturer and distributor of electrical switch gear, control gear, automation, products, solutions and projects. Uh, we're a privately owned business, 100% uh, owned, um, 50 years or 51 now, in the running 850 employees and we run from 250, sorry, 22 branches and regions around uh, Australia, New Zealand and the South Pacific. Um, we operate in most private and public uh, industrial sectors using electricity for powering control automation and these include uh, primary produce, mining, manufacturing, utilities, construction, defence. Um, so NHP started as an importer, as an importer distributor uh, of switchgear, but it turns out that Australia has a quite peculiar taste in switchgear. Um, and as a result, there's some parts, some items that we can't import or are not economic to import. Um, so we have an engineering department. Um, the engineering department, uh, we, well, within the engineering department, we develop products uh, that suit our local market. Um, we create product solutions that without just the components. Um, we essentially, the products that we develop equate to about 25 to 30% of our offering. They include panel boards, uh, load centers, bus bar, chassis, motor control centers, uh, plug sockets, switches, power factor correction systems, locking devices and a bunch of other items more specific to really local requirements. Uh, we also, NHP also designs and builds value add, what we call value add assemblies. These are custom panel boards, uh, control panels, motor starters that are made to customer requirements. We also specialise in what we call HAE, which is hazardous area, hazardous, hazardous area equipment that's uh, used for explosive environments and uh, dangerous environments. And much of this is built in our Laberton facility, which is pictured here. Um, and some of it built in our branch workshops. Um, we have 15 Creo parametric licenses, um, 13 schematic licenses, two Illustrate and a key shop. Um, our, we use Creo parametric for product design. This goes from concept design, prototyping, which we use models for 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal, development. Uh, these models are also used to create 2D drawings, um, so general arrangement drawings, assembly drawings, uh, you know, the whole exploded views, bombs. And these drawings are used now by sub by subcontractors and also our internal manufacturers, sorry, our internal manufacturing um, to produce products and to manufacture tools. We also develop Fabrication jigs and check gauges. There's a few basic general arrangement drawings, just skipping through some of the outputs that we create. That's a component drawing. So for custom panel boards, um, it's too, too time consuming for designers to go through and build a model, uh, drawings and build the materials for every job. So we, have, we can get down to custom panel boards where we're making one item per customer. Um, so we have a facilitation layer that's been written that interfaces with Creo to automate common time-consuming uh, steps. We call this the DOE, D -O -E, it stands for Design Office Engine. And essentially models are created using standard components. These components are arranged together using references to aid placement. Once the model is complete, uh, it automatically creates drawings like this one. Uh, creates drawings of bombs. Um, once these drawings of bombs are approved, um, the bombs are essentially spread into our ERP system where production models can be created directly. So it speeds up our whole process. Now, Creo Illustrate. So in the electrical industry, uh, the standards are starting to increase the onus on manufacturers to create manufacturing instructions uh, for guidance on correct equipment installation. So we've had to take, uh, we've had to up our game in creation instruction documentation. We've done this using Creo, Creo Illustrate to take our 3D models 
uh, and create simple, minimal tech, step-by-step -step instructions, similar to this, sort of an IKEA instruction style of, of uh, drawing. So we've had to build a whole suite of these and we're continuing. So that's sort of brought on by our standards. Um, NHPO is a lot of the success, so sort of a uh, success to strengths in the sales and marketing. We're, we're largely a sales and marketing company with a distributorship only. Um, and this translates into a lot of catalogues, technical reference data sheets and videos. So we use uh, Keyshot to help our creative marketing process. So these are essentially 3D models that have been uh, run through Keyshot to create photo uh, rendered images. And this is helping us save our creative marketing guys in photography. Um, a few other examples. We also um, send models into uh, for the use of the animated videos. That's what happens after marketing it, fix it. So here's an example of a, an animated video. Um, of some socket outlets and switches. We're also experimenting more with ThingWorks, uh, augmented reality, to uh, create marketing presentation tools, uh, service assistance tools, and in the IT field, uh, providing a window into on-site equipment data. So NHP is a sole distributor of Rockwell Automation products. They're a big automation uh, product manufacturer. So we're the sole distributor in the South Pacific. <coughs> And Rockwell has just purchased a $1 billion share and uh, stake in PCC. Uh, so we expect this type of work to be accelerated. <coughs> I hope this one isn't behind you. So this is an example, fairly uh, low res, where we've taken a, a model and put it online so that customers can explore our product. So it doesn't require any uh, particular software behind it. It's all online driven, but they can sort of drive around our product. So it's supposed to be uh, the augmented reality, but it's done on the screen. Um, now I'll finish off just with a promo video. Um, this is one that's been created again by our marketing guys. Do you need sound? I do. Yeah, that's right. I was, I, I think you should probably use my speakers before. So it's not too noisy. Um, so of interest for this, I'm not trying to promote NHP, it's just trying to show you that essentially all the, the product images within it are all created through Creo. <coughs> That's an example of a product we recently developed and released. Uh, it's a panel board, but it's just using the whole Creo products to uh, promote it since we're such a selling marketing company. And that's it for me. Any questions?